I mean, obviously, we've all encountered it, haven't we, when people put their yes. feet up on the, on the train. Would you do something like that, Janet? Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> You're coming to my ass, then. And I would probably release a silent but deadly emission <laughs> at the same time. But, yeah, I feel very, very angry when I see yeah. with people with uh, their feet on the seats on the train. So just as I feel very angry when I see people with dogs on the seats on the train okay. as well. And even though we have a dog, I think the dog should be on the floor, not on the seat. And if you're on a long-distance train and you've got a dog, well, if you're going to let it sit on the seat, if there's room, it should be sitting on a towel or some, something to protect. Have you ever confronted someone with a dog? <laughs> yeah, I confront my partner about a dog all the time. <laughs> because the dog sheds. Yeah. And, uh, I bet when Janet walks onto a train, everyone just is in, sits <laughs> perfectly <laughs> behind. You know, the other thing, Nadia, that really, really annoys me, especially on the underground, is that you see families with teenage children and the carriage is absolutely packed yeah. and women have got shopping bags or, you know, people who are older people are or standing pregnant, up yeah. or pregnant and these kids, 10, 12 years old, occupying a seat. And no, I said they to, should get out the parents said and to, make them stand I up. I said to some parents the other day, would you mind letting your children stand up? She went, they bought a ticket. I went, no. no. My kids get up, like, instantly. Mm. I don't say a word. They just leap up. Do you know, it's interesting, because to me, that's a no-brainer. You know, yeah. if, if, if somebody who looks like they need the seat more than you, not only do you get up, but you educate your kids that they, they yeah. stand up. And the thing that really shocked me about that picture that we showed there, that's a young man. Now, if that was his mum, sure, surely he, he should know yeah. that you take your seat, on a, especially if a, a woman about his mum's age apparently he says, can you yeah. remove your feet? You'd be nice. Actually, if, if you sort of read, read what happens in it, basically it ends with him saying, I'm about to spit in your effing face. Oh, no. <laughs> what, never mind the putting the feet on the seat. What's happened to manners? Oh, no. How brave. How brave. Because, I mean, you know, if I'm honest, it's many a time when I've sat in a train and seen things and the last thing I'm going to do yeah. is go over and talk to anybody because I'm too scared for my own life. I mean, I remember before I had my kids, there was a couple of occasions when I saw somebody really, really hitting a child and I intervened. Yeah, I would. And yeah. said, you know, I, 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 I mean, now I wouldn't. It's again because I've got more scared about life. But in the old days, I would say, you know, but have you seen the size of them? I don't yeah. think I dare to do that. Now. I've, I've, I I've literally I screeched would. and pulled over in a car because I saw somebody beating a dog by the side of the oh, road. Oh, no. Um, and that was, it was, it, it happened so quickly. I, I saw it happening, pulled over. The stupid thing is my car could have got stolen because I left the door open, <laughs> engine running, uh, and remonstrated fairly strongly with this lady, shall I say, uh, and pointed the error of her ways out to her. Um, was she grateful? No, she, she told me to go away. <laughs> good for you, Dan. Yeah, good. I bet you're an interferer. Yeah. No, I don't mean that in a wrong way. I mean, you're <laughs> no, I mean, I I me, not I would, yeah. I, I saw a man hitting his child once in Ikea. He had quite a few children with him. He was all stressed out and everything. And I saw him really, really whack this child. And I went over to him and I said, you're a lot bigger than him. Yeah. Why would you do that to him? Yeah. He looked really, really embarrassed, but I followed him around the store to make sure he didn't. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> good.